You're joking, right? Oh, Lord. Search. <laughs> so you're gonna buy freedom with a shilling? Paper pays. No, Peter, you can't be Paper serious. Paper pays. Peter! What could be more fair? It's an insult! It's inhumane! A life decided by the fate of a shilling! A life is priceless. We would fall short no matter what. Oh. A shilling is most appropriate. I can't bear it. I can't. What else would you do? He's too rushed! How can they give us only ten minutes to decide? How much time has passed? I can't think of it. Decide quickly so we can give our final words and wishes for the other to take home. I can't bear it. I can't. I can't. Hate or taste? Oh, Lord. Fine. I am Corey.
Simon. I don't lie, James. We're doing the best of three. Best of three! Money, you fool. For what? You're going to buy your freedom. When they let you go to Newgate Taverns, you can bribe the barkeep. Now listen. But how do you know Maybe this? I've been here before. Maybe I killed a man. Look, it doesn't matter. I just know. Now shut up and listen. You put poems to music. Do it for mine. I wrote a poem, all right? Tore a piece of cloth off my trousers and wrote a poem on it for my lass. I buried it in a dirt in the corner. I didn't know you wrote. So did anyone. That's the way I liked it. That's why I had it. Hoping someday someone would pick it up and never know it was me. But how did you write anything in here? I brought a quill. <laughs> More stamps than any Englishman, but it was worth it. Flaming <laughs> fireballs, Peter, what else do you have tucked away in there? <laughs> oh, this one of the finest utensils known to mankind. <laughs> James! <laughs> oh, never mind. <laughs> James. It doesn't make any sense. Couldn't you just have a man put the song to music for you when you get free? Maybe. That wouldn't have you in the festival in Glasgow now, would it? At the cost of your own life. I couldn't possibly. It's a farewell poem, James. It's about the last time I saw Rosie on the banks of Loch Lomond. I wrote it, never expecting to get out of here alive anyway. And I don't lie. If I lived through this, it wouldn't be a true farewell then, now would it? But Peter, mm -hmm. you say you don't lie. But she also says you weren't going to save my life. If he saved my life, wouldn't that make you a liar? I can't save your life, James. 
No man in the world could ever do that. Just help me extend it. You say you've never been in love. It's something you ought to feel before death comes knocking again and you find you're on the low road yourself. All right, step lightly, lad. But Peter, how can I bear the thought of going back to Scotland knowing you've died and you're here because of me? You won't see those green locks before me, James. You take the high road. I'll take the low road. I'll be in Scotland before you. Peter! Oh, Lord. shines bright on Uplomond, where me and my true love will never meet again, on the bonny bonny banks of Loch Glen.